Okay, we're going to give a small tour of our farm today. This is as you come in off the main road, and this is the section that we call the main farm. Over here on the right, we've planted some fruit trees, a couple pears and some apples. They haven't borne any fruit yet, so we're hoping in another year or two they'll start producing fruit. Up ahead, we've tried to plant some grapes for the first time, see if they'll come out. Don't know how they'll do. Never done it before, and we'll see. They're right, right there. And then this is where they cut the new road through the farm and basically split it to three little sections. And this, like I say, is the main section. And these are the hay fields. And right now, don't have hay equipment, so I have someone else cut the hay for me and then they'll leave me four rows per cutting and I use that for mulch around our plants in the garden and for other things and uh, we got a cousin that has a horse and we take some of it to her for feeding but, uh, this is uh, pretty much like I say the main area sorry about the mask hanging there We do own back in them woods, uh, not far, but I think there's about 30, 40 acres of cleared up here and maybe 10 and none cleared. This is our pumpkin patch and gourd patch that we raised pumpkin and gourds last year. We did really well. It didn't get it uh, tilled and put a cover crop on it this year. This first year we used it, so I'm probably, when it dries up around mid-February, hopefully March, I'll come in, plow, till it up, and get it ready. Probably plant potatoes up here this year, as well as our gourds, but we usually don't plant the gourds and pumpkins until around June. We don't want them coming in too early. And we'll continue on around. Right now, we do not live here on the farm. We uh, have a house out here, but it's been rented by the same person since I've owned the place. And I, about 10, 15 years before I owned the place, they've rented it. We're just going to keep that arrangement for right now. We're hoping to eventually build us a little place up here. As you can see. Again, this is the main area. Now that white stuff is some old plastic rows. The guy that uh, cut hay up here about 10 years ago and left them up here. And I've been using the hay out of it for compost. It's great on the garden, but it, it smells bad. And I don't know how I'm going to get rid of all that plastic. I've been cutting it off and throwing it in our trash bin but it takes up quite a bit of the trash bin and uh, just slowly getting rid of it this is my little shed when we first bought the place there is no barn on the property so I built a shed to store my equipment that I got and it's already full it's a fairly small shed and the ditch line here where you see the mud we had water brought up here because we didn't have water we have water to the house, but the the renter pays for that. So uh, we uh, want water that we could use and not have to use her water and, you know, pay her back. It just makes it a little easier. So I've been working on trying to scrape this back in and clean it up. The guy did a good job. He just left it, though, for what I, for what I paid him. You know, I'm, I can't complain. I mean, I guess I could, but, you know, it's just a lot of pushing rock, and I don't have a bucket on my trucks or tractor, so I've got to go around and scrape it. And this is our garden that we raise to sell produce at the farmer's market. And 
I did get a cover crop on most of it. There's some areas that don't have a crop or cover crop where uh, we still had produce when I sowed it. Mostly peppers and uh, a few things like that. But it's uh, pretty large, at least for two people to take care of it. It's just me and my wife. Still got to get the cattle panel out there that we had uh, some lufa gourds hanging on. There's still one or two smaller ones that are dried there that we didn't get. And turnips didn't come up very well. And there's one of the rolls of hay that I use for uh, mulching. There's one, there's a smaller roll across the farm. And right here's a little bit of left. This right, this area here was fall beans. We ended up pulling them. I think October 31st was the last picking of beans we got off that. So, and that's pretty good for around here. And they, they're some of the best beans we get in the fall. And this is the end of the main garden. Now we had a guy plant all the rest of this area, which used to be a big tobacco patch. And he came and he uh, dissed it up. And he planted uh, hay and clover and orchard grass and I don't know what all type of hay he planted but it was a lot of clover in here and uh, so it's, it's fairly good hay I think off this area up here they're getting around 50 rolls per, per thing which per cutting which is good I think the last cutting they only got 30 something but you know it was a little dry there for a while. This year though, I think we're also going to do another pumpkin patch here at the end of the main garden. We're going to plow up this little section up here between the fence row and the other garden and uh, do a pumpkin patch here. And uh, last year the deer destroyed our corn so we had no corn at all. I mean they literally destroyed it. And we had a guy come up here and hunt, and he got a he got two nice ones up here. And uh, of course, it was already after the fact that they destroyed most of the corn. So, but uh, anyway, you can see I've been working on a little bit, trying to let the dirt settle before I fill it all in. And uh, this is uh, the the. Our renter's yard here which she knows me so she keeps a good eye out on everything that we have but now this is where the hard part begins I've been working on cleaning this fence row out which was pretty bad and mostly uh, the guy who rents his field out for soybeans and corn you know he's never cleaned it I got in there and cleaned it out and I've gotten just past these power poles and well I got a little ways that's really on his property there and my intent is to put a new fence up because there's fence poles there you can see them kind of if you can make it out I'm gonna try and move the my stuff out in here and sorry about the camera work it's hard to drive and take videos but you can see some of these rocks are rather large that I wish they had, they had to bring a jackhammer in, jackhammer when they cut this, and had them sleeve the pipe so it wasn't, you know, none of the rocks would hopefully crack it. Like I say, I'm gonna clean out the rest of this fence through here. Probably do that in the next week or two, hopefully if it gets nice. Usually it's been raining and so cold. You can't, you know, I'll clean it all the way up and put new fence posts. Okay, now we're going to the hill property, which is across this new road that cut cut this property in half. And uh, we already had a smaller part, what we call the bottom, which I don't haven't done anything to it. And if I don't think it'll be light enough, I might have to come out tomorrow and video that. But this is the only way to get into this property. And yes, I know it. It looks like it's all trees but actually there's a pretty nice little field back here and the guy that cuts the hay can't get back here to cut it so I've just been bush hogging it to try to keep it clean 
and I'm hoping to get some hay equipment, some small hay equipment, where I can come back in here and cut it for hay because there's quite a bit of hay back here. I think uh, the guy. Who Dog, which uh, if they stay on this side, it's fine. And like I say, our bottom that we call it is actually down over the hill here. And there's another little road that's right at the bottom of this hill. You probably can't see it, and I don't want to get too close to the edge. But uh, it's just down over the hill there. And uh, if I can, I can't drive through it because it is literally a swamp. I'm, got my tractor stuck down there before and luckily I got it out without too much difficulty but uh, it's, a, it's a mess down in there there's a creek that runs up beside it and it just stays wet if it don't if it rains anytime within a week or two you can't get down in there you have to wait for it to not rain It's always scary when you come down here because it does stay wet but you would think being this hill it would dry out a lot quicker but this is what we call the hill it's pretty much a hill I don't ever have any trouble bush hogging it and the guy never had any trouble cutting hay off of it so hopefully I won't either when I get my hay equipment <laughs> if I get my hay equipment but that's the plan like I say if I can get some footage of going down the bottom, like I say, I can't drive through it down there, but I could probably just